guys what's up it's Nikita from just Nikita vlogs thank you so much for checking out my channel I am so excited that you're here so we just hit a milestone we hit 500 subscribers on the channel Woo! so this video is about how I got to 500 subscribers oh my gosh can you believe it we made 500 subscribers that is so crazy so I'm no expert I'm a brand new youtuber I actually started YouTubing um, April 2016 I utilize these things and I want to give you guys those tips because if they work for me I'm pretty sure that they'll work for you and I'm not a pro or anything like that this is just like by trial and error and just like just careful research and just being conscious of everything that's around me to um, put the best possible quality content that I can out for you guys. So if you wanna know how I got to 500 subscribers, keep watching this video. Okay. So number one, lighting. Lighting is so, so, so important. It's the winter time right now and I live in Chicago so the lighting like lasts for like literally like two hours. I invested in some umbrella lights and also a ring lighter. If you can't spend money on any lighting, then just try to film in the daytime where um, natural light, because natural light is the best anyway. When you have natural light, um, you don't want to film in low light or fluorescent light because um, it's harder for the image to show up and it's harder for people to focus on you and you want everybody to see you right and what you're doing so I would recommend um, if you're sitting down and you're filming you might want to face the window and have that natural light hit you that way or um, if you're gonna vlog like daily vlogging or something like that I would try to vlog outside um, if you don't have a camera that's equipped to low light that'll switch for you or if, or if you're filming off of your phone Try to do it in the daytime. Try to get everything that you can done in the daytime or in a place where there's lots of like white light. It'll be much better for you. It's a clearer image for your audience. The next tip is colors. Colors are super important to what you wear. So I studied at the Second City um, in Chicago for acting and that's one of the tips that they taught us. When you go on auditions and everything, you wanna make sure you're wearing like a pastel type color or something like that because it looks better on film. And also too, like colors are inviting. So if you have like really, really dark colors, it kind of evokes an emotion. So lighter colors just, I don't know, the lighter colors just make you happier. So just wear like, a lighter color or a softer color or something like that and then once you get to the place where you want to be um, with your YouTube career then you can wear whatever it is you want to wear but for right now you use all the tips so that you can get to that point think about all the big youtubers whoever is your favorite youtuber pay attention to how they have um, so much light coming in and they also have a lot of bright colors you don't you barely ever see them with like black on or black backgrounds or something like that that's very very rare because they know that different colors look better on film and it attracts people more you think about it the biggest youtubers always have like really bright colors behind them or around them or they're wearing them you have uh shameless maya she does a lot of uh like bright colors vibrant colors it's really really nice you have people like philip defranco who could wear darker colors but um, he's a bigger YouTuber. Once you become big and you can do whatever, pretty much whatever you want to do, then you can wear whatever you want to wear. But starting out, lighter colors are more inviting. Pastels, like light purple, blush pinks, white, um, yellows, all of that stuff is really inviting and it evokes emotion. So um, be conscious of the colors that you're wearing because I really think that, that has something to do with um, the way people respond to your video. The next thing is promote your channel. So if you're promoting your channel on all of your social media platforms, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, every absolute, every platform, Reddit, anything, anything that you have that you can post to, make sure that you are posting your channel and you are promoting it. Also, if you can, have your family and friends share your work. If they don't, I mean, it's okay, whatever. Don't worry about it. Join like Facebook groups and stuff. All of that stuff is super important to promoting your channel and getting your name out there because people are not going to come looking for you because they don't know who you are. So you have to find those people. And the way you find those people is promoting your channel, sharing it all over the place, and also Facebook groups are super, super important. Make sure that you join that because then you make friends and you become a part of a community and it's just super easy. It really does make everything much easier for you. You have 48 hours to promote your channel before YouTube kind of just like kicks it to the side and buries it almost. Those first two days after you publish, you want to make sure that you are promoting your channel as much as possible on every social media. When it comes to sharing, um, another thing that I've noticed is 
you want to make sure that you're making trailers. I make trailers for all of my vlogs. So I take out the most exciting parts, whatever I think would be intriguing to somebody else, and I put it into like a minute trailer because Instagram can go up to a minute, right? And then Snapchat, you know, it'll allow you to play all your videos. It doesn't matter. It just lets you play it. It just cuts it off after 10 seconds, but it still rolls like a regular trailer. So get a trailer, post it on your Facebook. After you finish editing your entire video, you've gone ahead and you published it to YouTube. I would go back into that actual project, cut all that other stuff out that you don't need, keep the good stuff for however long you want, up to a minute long, and go ahead and action at the end, tell people to subscribe to your channel and put your channel name so that it's um, it's your branding. You know what I'm saying? So that really works for me. And people scroll past links. They don't really pay attention to links anymore. People are more intrigued by, they're more enticed by movement. So if I see something moving and I see that it's interesting, like, oh, you know, what is this person talking about? I'm more inclined to click onto that video so that I can see what it is that's going on. Also, on Facebook, you can edit your privacy on your posts when you post those um, those trailers, and then you can put it to public. So if you put it to public, that allows you to get those numbers at the bottom. So you know how you have videos that you post and um, it gets like 184 views or 384 views, but only like four likes. Oh my God, I hate that. That's like the worst too. Like y'all see my stuff. Why don't y'all go ahead and just like it? You know what I'm saying? Like people are so shady. But anyway, <laughs> if you edit the privacy, you'll be able and other people will be able to see how many people are viewing it. And also too, people are driven by numbers. And so if they see something is popular or is trending or has a lot of numbers, that's gonna make them want to see what's going on. So you have a better chance of getting your channel and your content out in front of people. And you know, I put the link at the top of the video, like when you're making the actual post, you go ahead and say whatever you want in that post. Don't keep it, don't make it too long because people don't like to read nowadays. But you know, keep it short and simple, kiss it. Keep it short and simple. Post your trailer, edit the privacy to public so that you can see the numbers and also post the link to your channel. Post the link to that video so people can, oh, you know, this trailer was really good. I want to see the entire video. They can go ahead and click that video and that way that will drive traffic to your channel. Okay, another thing that I found that helped me grow my channel is, um, you know how you have Twitter, okay, and when you follow somebody, it DMs you back, like a robot DMs you back. Oh, this was by this company or whatever. You know, it's a generic message, and then at the very bottom, you know that it's a robotic something that sent you that message. I personally, me personally, I don't like that because I don't like, it's just so like, it's not personal at all. Like, you know, like, it's just like, you're just like, I'm, I'm just a number, you know? And I really don't like that. So one day I took a bunch of time out. I had a day off and I wasn't doing anything. I had nothing planned. Um, I just went into my Twitter and I went to all the people that I was following and that was following me personally, emailed them. So I made my own generic um, message, of course, but I did tell them, hey, you know, I'm a new YouTuber. I'm trying to grow my channel. Um, if you have time, can you go ahead and just check it out? And please send me any um, links that you think that I should check out, you know, so that, you know, we're giving and receiving. I just put hashtag support small YouTubers. But the trick about that, that I found was different was I used the person's name. So whatever their uh, handle was or their name was, I just said, you know, let's say Jane. Um, I would use that generic message, change the name. Hey Jane, what's up? I hope you're having a good day. Hey, I'm a brand new YouTuber. I'm trying to grow my channel. If you have any time, just can you go ahead and check this out? Um, send me any links that you think that I look like as well. And let me know what you think. Hashtag support small YouTubers. And you know what? I got so much love from that. I got so much love from that. And people were checking out my channel. They would respond back, hey, sure, I'll go ahead and I'll check out your channel. Or, you know, they'll comment on the videos and it was actually, it, was, it just worked like a charm. Sometimes Twitter will like stop you because they think that it's spamming or something like that, but it's really not. You're really just trying to, you're not posting on their wall or anything. It's totally, it's DM. It's totally up to them if they want to check it out. You're not like spamming on anybody's video or anything like that. You're just trying to get your channel out there and promote it the best way that you possibly can. So I found that that was effective for me. And to talk about spamming, okay, let's get into it. Stop 
with the sub for sub please sub for sub is so weak it's so desperate i can't stand it like just stop like nobody it's not good guys it's really not so if you're a sub for sub that's a that's a way you can grow but i don't feel like it's an effective way that you can grow because i feel like that hurts your channel more than it helps it honestly because what you want is you want watch time and you want engagement that like promotes your channel to YouTube because that will let them know hey you know this person has a lot of activity going on this channel she's really into it he's really into it you know they're taking this seriously let's go ahead and let's promote it the best way that we can but if you're doing sub for sub and you're just oh you're just worried about the numbers or something like that doesn't matter at all like people with two subscribers yo people with two subscribers and they could have a million views their channel is doing better than your channel. So it really doesn't matter. Like subscriber count really does not matter. It's not that important. It's really your views and your watch time and the retention people are giving your your um, channel. So stop with it. And also too, what I really, really hate, I hate when somebody comes on my channel and they're like, oh, you know what? Your, your content is so cool. I really, really like it. Check out mine. Like stop doing that too like YouTube has gotten so smart though that it has a filter so if they think something is kind of spammy they're gonna go ahead and filter it first and the content creator has to approve that message first trash it's going in the trash I'm not even gonna entertain it I'm not responding to you later for you like grow organically you know what I'm saying grow organically build relationships and build a community so for stuff is whack Stop doing it it doesn't work and don't comment on that's like going to somebody don't come on don't come on somebody else's content commenting about yourself when it's about them leave a genuine comment like if you leave a genuine comment people will come and check out your channel because they're like oh you know that's cool that you you check that out or you you notice that I did that in this video let me check out you and if you have a nice avatar forget about it people are gonna go and check out your channel so you don't need to do that that's like coming to somebody's birthday party you know just trying to stun on them or going to a wedding wearing black and you are not the bride how does that look that's tacky so let's not do that please thank you consistency consistency is super duper important you want to make sure that you are staying on a schedule the more you post the more traction you're going to get so it depends on like how serious you are how much time you have time management I post on Sundays all the time so people know that it doesn't matter what time it's going to come up but it's not gonna come up too late unless something is really going wrong that's when I would post late but I usually post like in the morning or the daytime for sure um, on Sundays so consistency is key because people start to remember when you're coming and when you stop coming then they forget about you you can't post sporadically if you post sporadically people just don't know when you're coming so that's why you have to like think about TV shows TV shows come on at a certain time every single day um, they're never late so people know when they're coming so people are at home watching either scandal or how to get away with murder grades and grades and anatomy all that stuff they know they know when it's coming so they get excited and they look forward to it so that's how you should be with your channel that's how you should treat your channel like it's a scandal or how to get away with murder or grades anatomy so <laughs> yeah don't post every once a month or twice every two months or something it, I mean you're not you're not growing at all people forget about you YouTube buries your video forget it you're not active like don't even do it but you want to make sure that you are posting consistently and regularly oh another thing oh my gosh this super super important thing I need to tell y'all okay so remember how I told you how I started in April right okay so I'm not tech I'm not tech savvy at all I don't know anything about computers I don't know anything about cameras I'm learning all this as I go and that's the honest to God truth I am learning all of this as I go I've taught myself how to do all of this stuff but um, I had got my external hard drive because I needed more space on my laptop and I was just pulling that sucker out pulling that extern external hard drive out of the laptop broke it yes yes I broke it and all my footage was on there all my footage I was like oh my god what am I gonna do so I take it to Geek Squad thinking oh you know it's nothing they're just gonna pick it up have it done the same day restore it and then get it back to me no Geek Squad had to send it out to some forensic place that's what they said to recover the lost footage guess how much it cost me to recover that lost footage y'all I don't even want to tell you it was a grip about six hundred dollars it cost me two yeah mm -hmm. 
$600. It cost me to recover all my old footage from this flash drive. So, but whatever you do, please make sure that you take care of your equipment for real, for real. Because that is such an expensive mistake that I made and I've learned from. It put me out of commission for two months. Two months. I couldn't post anything for two months months y'all so you know i'm seeing everybody else just grinding and going and posting and they just growing you know and i'm like i'm just sitting here i have to recycle the same videos over and over i never gave up and with that time i took that time to do the whole twitter thing i told you about with telling people about my channel come check it out you know i still kept very active on my channel and i kept recycling those same videos on twitter you know and just promoting my channel the best i can but two months was a lot so I would probably have way more than 500 subscribers if I had posted new content within those two months. So that is the biggest advice I can give you guys. Make sure that you take care of your equipment and you ask somebody how to do it or use it and you eject everything from your computer properly before you close it because y'all don't want that $600 um, penalty. Let me tell you because it is not fun. And also the biggest tip, are you ready? Come closer. believe in yourself boom that's what you have to do for real though y'all have to believe in yourself if nobody else believes in you believe in yourself people don't understand your vision they don't get what it is that you're trying to do and they don't have to and that's fine because you know what you're destined to do that is a conversation between you and God what it is that you're supposed to do and what's your mission so you can't expect everybody to be down for you or to understand you or ride with you you know support is amazing I have such an amazing support system I really really do I have um, I'm gonna go ahead and link some channels below from new youtubers that I mean we're all coming up together you have to check them out life of eight coast um, re-illuminated reality VNR media Kai curious I'll just link everybody below you can't allow people to deter you from your mission and what it is that you're supposed to do if you're passionate about this and you really love to do this and you know how hard this is this is really really difficult to do like this is not for the faint-hearted it's not because you have to have thick skin because you have to deal with rejection and you know you think you're gonna come on here and just be like ah, everybody gonna like me I'm about to blow up you know 100,000 subs you know whatever it's not like that it's not because people don't know who you are it's just it's just not you have to grow and you have to build and you have to be you know consistent and serious a tunnel vision just just working towards your goal and block out any haters or anything like that you don't need that so just block it out you're creating art and you want to give your best quality content to your subscribers and your supporters and you know it's just really really cool so make sure that your content is of quality and it's educational and it's something that you will be proud of in the long run in your career so that's what I think about if I don't absolutely love a scene or a shot that I shoot with anything that I'm doing um, I just don't put it in anymore also keep your videos short don't keep don't don't make them like 20 minutes long an hour long don't do that because I've done that and it doesn't work we're not at that point yet we're not at that point where we can make long content like the Jamie and Nikki's and Latoya Life's and Shameless Maya and all that keep it down to like 10 minutes maximum 12 no 12 minutes maximum if you can try to keep it down because I mean people look at numbers first and they're like uh uh that's 30 minutes long I don't know who that is I'm not about to watch that I learned that the hard way so all of my videos now are so much shorter this one may be a little bit longer because I want to like give you guys the gusto of everything yeah keep it short that's the best advice I can give you as well also to you um having a community commenting to your supporters comment back comment back to your supporters talk to them and then action them that's super important you don't I I unsubscribe to people because I'm like you I know you saw, you got 20 subscribers I know you saw my comment and you're just gonna go ahead and do, you're just gonna just ignore me you know what I'm saying? so no always make sure that you comment to your supporters and you tell them thank you for watching I really appreciate it I really hope that you do subscribe and you turn on your notifications so that you know you'll know when we're going on the next adventure and have a legitimate comment back like oh yeah that was so funny somebody says something like oh you know I liked when you went down that water slide when my Puerto Rico vlog oh my god yeah that was so funny I was so scared but it was cool you know thank you so much for watching thank you for your support please make sure you subscribe so that you can join us on more adventures easy 
easy breezy. Now you just created a friendship and this person is like, wow, she's really cool. Let me go ahead and subscribe to her and turn on notifications so I can go on the next adventure with her. It's not hard and it's not rocket science. And it just, you know, it just, it just humanizes you. So make sure that you are commenting back to your subscribers. That is all that I have for you guys for right now. I have more tips, but I think I'm gonna save them for another video because this is pretty long already. If you did enjoy this, please make sure that you like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers before April 2017. The channel will be one year old at that time. So I really think that we could do that. If we could get to 1,000 subscribers, that would mean the world to me. So I really wanna hit that 1,000 um, subscriber before the year is up, before April, guys. So if you found this video helpful at all, please go ahead and just hit the subscribe button and the like button, and please make sure you turn on those notifications so you know when we're doing something new. My channel is a lifestyle travel beauty family vlog and we do all sorts of things on my channel it's always exciting so you never know what I'm gonna post so the element of excitement and we do tags and challenges too here and there and my family's beautiful and we'd love for you to join our um, internet family so thank you guys so much and I really hope that this helps you be fearless out there take control of your future you can do it this is so fun to do it's a lot of work it's not easy at all but it is so fun and it's so rewarding when people comment to you and they let you know how much you've helped them so I hope you guys enjoyed this video Remember, be kind to one another and be a blessing to somebody else. Bye, Bye guys.